I want to bring back the old glorious Spanish Empire, and in this video I start my Hearts of Iron 4 campaign in 1936 with historical focuses and Iron Man mode. I've played this game for 640 hours, but I've never put the cowardice on power, so I'm really curious to see if I will fail or if I will achieve a great success. No one expects the Carlist Coalition. Vamos, boys. What we're gonna do in this gameplay is gonna be something interesting. I never did this path, so that's the first time that I try. Let me open with a classic uh, engineering path. We are gonna try to bring the king on the throne and found again the supremacy, the supremacy of the Spanish Empire. So I am going to open with a great Spain. This is going to increase the popularity in fascism. And besides of that, what I'm going to do, what you are going to see in the next, uh, I probably 10 minutes, is going to be, how can I say that? The preparation of a big event. Oh, that, that sounds good. Let's have a lot of rifles and support equipment and then a lot of rifles. We have still unassigned divisions that I didn't enter here. That's okay. That's okay. No problem. And yeah, let's, let's unpause the game. And let's see what we can do. At the moment, we can't do literally anything. We're gonna move our army. Um, at, it's fine. You can move it wherever you want. They, they are going to change very soon. Why did he pick Spain? That, that's funny. Um, actually, first of all, I don't speak Spanish. I do understand it pretty well because I'm Italian and uh, I studied it for two years in the high school. So, no hay problemas. Me la entender. But when I have to speak, oh man, I mix Italian and Spanish so much that the result is really a fun new, funny new language. I, I want to avoid to batch Spanish in this gameplay. But I want to thank uh, the, the Spanish, Spanish people, um, the Spanish speaking community, at uh, least the second one following me on this channel. That's why I picked Spain. All right. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, I played Spain a couple of times. I played mostly with the, the Socialist Republican and the Anarchist. Uh, this is my first time that I take the right wing path. and But I'm not going to take the right right wing path. So um, at a certain point I will take the card list. And what we can do now, and over the CED, a campaign chest. Oh, the Italians are annexing those in the meantime. So now that we have a little bit of political power, we can't do anything yet. Ah, by the way, um, we have those super terrible um, negative events that are even preventing, even preventing us to use political power to, I don't know, assign a political advisor, um, change the economy law, just change the templates. We have, we have quite good templates, I have to say, because the Division de Infanteria, for example. Oh. Oh, change of popularity of fascism, 10%. All right, Spanish elections are going pretty well for us. Look at this division. That's pretty solid. Uh, the Republican Infantry. But then we have also the Brigade, the Garrison Division, which is uh, okay. And we have, this is the best one, the Division de Cavalleria. <laughs> this is like uh, Genghis Khan in modern days. You have to combat with 24 with, with, infantry, uh, with cavalry. And then the Montagna. Brigada de Montagna uh, is, is microscopic. I mean, this division must be changed, but we will do it later on. Let's check. Let's check. What, oh, what's going on here? Oh, yes. Okay. Finally, we can start taking control of some regions. And we need to take control of those regions that are um, strategic. I, take, I start with controlling Catalonia. And I do a speech with Primo de Rivera. Rivera. <laughs> Primo de Rivera. So that the change in popularity of fascism will increase by a uh, factor of 5%. But look at this. If the, if the civil war would start now, we would have 30, 23 divisions and the Republicans would have 66. So, well, we are not ready yet. And the, talking about not ready people, the Italians in uh, Ethiopia actually are doing pretty well. Yeah, they're pushing on the, on the mountains in the north, so... That's already a great achievement because once you take those mountains, the way to Addis Abeba is open. And also in the south, they do pretty well. Probably not everywhere. So, okay. But we don't care about this um, topic now, at least not immediately, because we have to, again, secure as much as possible the garrison. I'm going to take Barcelona. I'm going to take Valencia. And then uh, I think that the north usually is under our control. Bilbao, for example. We need to avoid... The, um, yeah, we need to avoid the Republicans to have too much logistics, so 
Having the ports would be, in my opinion, a great idea. But let's see. Oh, by the way, we have no national focus. We have to negotiate with the Carlis. My bad. <laughs> because the good negotiation with the Carlis is giving us uh, five well-trained units and three infantry battalions and more popularity in the non-aligned that now are 18%. That's not bad either. So. Okay. Okay, let's finish now the control of Barcelona and then we go south. I never did this, so maybe I'm taking decisions that are not the most efficient or the best one. Yes, that can be, but I don't mind too much. I mean, I won the civil war using uh, the anarchist ones. I think that using the phalanges should be, I believe, a piece of cake. And those are the last famous words, right? Before the, before the disaster. By the way, I think that uh, yes, um, there has been a counter-attack, uh, let's say, by our enemies, so they slowed down the control of Catalonia. Yeah. National focus, the Army of Africa. The Army of Africa is going to ensure that 7 infantry and 2 artillery battalions and recon engineer are owning in Africa when the time is, uh, is there. That's great. That's great. And at the... Right now we have 46% and 32%. Wonderful. Dismissal of Niceto Alcala Zamora. Political power plus 5, stability minus 5, because um, we have a new prime minister, Manuel Asania. Asania is better than the previous one, but he's not going to stay there for a long time. Promise you, promise you. Okay, good. I, it seems that we have secured the uh, Catalonia garrison. Let's go to Valencia. Those are all territories that then we have to hold believe. <laughs> I hope that it works fine. Pity that I cannot do it, uh, let's say, I don't. I cannot do more than one region at the same time. But fine. I speed up a little bit. I'm gonna use the, you know, post bar when uh, necessary, because now we're just getting ready. For Valencia we take as well. We have the Army of Africa. I can increase the, ga the base war support and uh, remove 36 days by Military plot or just wait. I think I'm going just to wait with this uh, Because I have 116 days that I can use Secure the northern garrison. Yes Galicia, Leon, Salamanca, Valladolid, Burgos, Western Aragon and Navarra Going to be secured I'm not going to use this anymore. I will just focus on Valencia as soon as, as much as possible Um. So, okay, let me take the radio. It's going to be useful. We, we can listen to our favorite songs during the war. No, that's not the case, but you know what I mean. Coordination. Coordination is the key. All right, so let's speak also Valencia now. With Barcelona and Valencia. First of all, we can have amazing holidays. Second, um, we can try to push towards Madrid from the north and from the west. Okay, so I believe that soon we will have secured the north, which means that I have 100 days and in those 100 days, oh yes, I'm getting closer to Madrid. I'm going to expand my control in Cuenca. Look at this, you see that now we have expanded our control in the north, thanks to the, thanks to the focus. Compaquito, sin Paquito. So, Compaquito is moving us in the direction supreme, uh, supremacy of the communion, unify the nationalist front. Sin Paquito, we go to the Phalanxist uh, front. I take Paquito, which means that Francisco Franco will be a nationalist field marshal. Even if I think that I will, I'm going to have, I might be wrong, but I think that I'm going to have uh, um, a Carlist field marshal. And I'm staying with the Carlist general, all the way, because for obvious reasons. Mm. Oh, you know what? Synthetic oil. We're going to need a lot of synthetic oil. Okay, now we have 72 days, we can go and get uh, closer to Madrid. Okay, spectacular. And now we have 54 divisions against 55, and now we are on the lead. Alright, the Madrid garrison can wait, we go a little bit south now, in Alicante, Murcia. 65 days left 
First civilian factories, then in Burgos I'm going to build a military factory. But I can't train anything. It seems that... Uh, Oh, okay. Okay. It seems that in Valencia, the Republicans are trying to uh, fight us. L League of Nations embargo resolution. What's going on? We can embargo Italy, or we can uh, leave the League of Nations. We leave the League of Nations because you know uh, the Italians are struggling in Ethiopia. Surprise, surprise! And now they are triggering all the events with the. The British boys being very angry at them. Okay, we are... Yeah, the control of Valencia is not the best one in the world. I will probably start the war without having Valencia under control. Fine. Because the war is start, starting in 33 days or something, I guess. Okay, Valencia is completely under control. Um... Wow. Wait a minute. Oh fuck, I think that I think that we lost Barcelona. We lost a lot of uh, a lot of territory and I didn't even realize it. 16 days to go. Um and here I forgot the technology again. Let's pick the support weapons. I think I didn't take the, the military industrial complex. Well, it is as it is now. We can uh, have a look at this interwar artillery with Esperanza and Stia. But the war is, starting, is really starting in four days and we don't have... Okay, stop, 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 stop. This is very important, okay. So we have, you see, some garrison here and there. Yeah, that's good, but it's not super fantastic. Um, the Spanish Civil War, at exactly 5 a.m. this morning, precisely one day after contract was lost with the North African garrisons, a well-prepared military operation was launched all throughout Spain. So, complete success of this attempt coup has only been prevented by an official people militias who, through quick action, have managed to retain control of many of the targeted locations and cities. Nevertheless, we are trying now to push into the civil war, which, by God, father and king, we will win. So, by using this second choice, we are not um, trying to win as uh, fascist, pure 100%, but we are more like uh, um, looking at the king, Karl, and the old Spanish empire. So, I'm going to get this one. We gain death before surrender, which grants a lot of surrender limit, and um, the non-aligned party will now be called Junta Militar. The Rivera dies, <laughs> sorry, and the nationalist Spain completes the focus supremacy of the communion, which we see here. And the next one, we have three. And the Junta Nacional, we get more war support and stability which we need desperately. We prepare the insurrection, preparing the Carlist insurrection decision, allowing to secure controlled states or the Carlist side in the uprising. That's very important. And the war in the north is going to give... Uh, Asturias remove the unplanned offensive and País Vasco removes the uh, unplanned offensive. Okay. Which uh, is decreasing the speed and the organization massively. In this way, we can really try to push in the north, yeah. That's great. Okay, Germany is sending us three volunteers. And now we have to check all the divisions. So, in, in total we have 48 divisions. Not bad. It's really not bad. So look at them. So here we have nothing. Here in Spain we have... We have the five... Uh, um, so we have here the, the, the North African army. Then I believe that I will need to uh, create different armies here to focus on the front properly. So let me check, uh, for example, those guys here. How much? 15 divisions, okay. 18. 
Then we take those guys uh, here. 24, perfect. Who's missing, I think, there are all the people <clears throat> that are blocked here and there. Wonderful. Now we create a field marshal, alright? We give everybody to the field marshal. Who's gonna be? Franco, phalangist. Mola, phalangist. Falconde, carlist, loyal, loyalist. I take the carlist. Let's see if I can give... Uh, um, Defensive, offensive doctrine. Let's give him the offensive doctrine. And if I have the chance, also the division recovery rate with the charisma. Uh, Mesiane currently. Okay, so Gimos Atacando Mesiane could uh, take, let's say, the the lost resistance. So as you see, we have Alicante. We don't have Valencia. Pity, because we have a couple of units that are there resisting in the middle of nothing. But we should take Valencia for sure, because that will allow us to create a huge encirclement here in the north, and that's going to be extremely important. Look at this. If we take the port of Valencia, then all the troops that are in this area have no access whatsoever to the logistics, so we can try to encircle them and kill them. All right. The biggest part of the army here should... Uh, um, Ah, well, 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 we have a lot of topics that we should do. Let's assign a commander. Phalanges, Phalanges, Carlist. Let me see if I have other Carlists here. Carlist and Carlist, yeah. Jose and Mailana Stray, he's pretty good. And for the African army, yeah, we have Cabal. Ah, one thing. Mohamed Meziane is a Phalangist, so I don't know if I should keep him. Yeah, but probably I have to because no one else. No, actually, I have uh, Gonzalo Capo de Liano, infantry officer, by the way, not bad at all. Here we have already an infantry expert. So, what we are gonna do, we are gonna give here the north, here the south. You jump right away to Madrid. You engage and you go and take Oviedo. You engage, you engage, you engage, you engage, you go here and take it down. We try now to create the... Uh, uh, you engage. We are now decreasing the speed to level 3. We don't have any uh, air force. This is this is just ridiculous, this Air Force. Let's do air superiority here, it's ridiculous. That's why we would, we would need really the support of the Italians and the Germans. Let's unpause and let's see what's gonna happen. So, where we engage, you see that we are not winning at all, but we can get beat bow relatively quickly. You can go to Oviedo, you can close, you can close. We, our goal is to take the North as up so that we can focus on uh, the Aragon first. And then uh, we go to the south. Here we are just losing our divisions. We are just losing them. We are surrounded. Alicante, Alicante is probably, probably the only. Yeah, yeah. We remove them. Alicante is probably the only one that we can hold because we have a port. We have an arbor. We should definitely keep this and hold this. Wonderful. So Barcelona now. Pretty good. <clears throat> And this is the, this is the best uh, that could have happened to us. Okay. When we are here in Bilbao. We try to create, try to create a, a first encirclement here. This war will last forever. It's gonna be very long. And by the way, we are really. I should have taken probably Madrid, but but it's fine. I mean, uh, to be close to Madrid, but it's fine to see. Civil War Frontline Solidified. <clears throat> Remove planned uprising. Madrid, Catalonia, Western and Aragon adds unplanned offensive. Block Civil War Offensive on map decision. Okay. Which means that our first offensive is here. We try to keep them. 
<clears throat> I don't know how long it takes to get the offensive, but... Wow, 90 days. Wow, that's a lot. Really a lot. <clears throat> you see, for example, here, they have no command or anything, but still, still, uh, we are not winning this encirclement because we are suffering now. So we are not going to attack until uh, the 90 days are passed, and then we will do it. Tamburo dies. Oh, military punta because leader, uh, becomes the leader of the non-aligned. Right. Okay, so now I believe that I could really try to do something. Interwar tank development, I mean, we will need them at a certain point in time. Look at them. No, 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 and that was a big mistake. No, that was a really big mistake. I, I just made a mistake. Here. No, because I, I believe that I gave the order. Yes, exactly. That's, that should be all. Okay, we have three uh, divisions of the Reich in... Uh, I don't know where, but uh, we're gonna find... I uh, know the Germans are gonna use them, so... We need to defend Valladolid first, so that's why I wanted to take only those two and move them south. That was all what I wanted to do when I messed up. And here we try to close them without access to any sort of... Um, yeah. Reinforcements. Here we can't, unfortunately. It's bad. I speed up to four because, you know, look at how slow our troops are. Okay, they're walking, first of all. Maybe they need some bikes. <laughs> but yeah, they're small. They're very slow. All right. Um, preparing your passive 72 days, you, need, you know, it's crazy. I still need to, to, to consider it. I mean, those guys should have zero, literally zero, um, man. I think I'm doing. I think I prepared it in a very, in a very wrong way. And they should have zero logistics. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. But it seems like that, anyways, due to the mechanics of the civil war, uh, they can do pretty well, even with the lack of resources and everything. Let's see. Okay, here, here we did pretty well. So uh, let's go. Let's go crush the other region. If we see that we can manage this without without the event, uh, preparing the offensive. I move the offensive immediately to um, Aragon because I believe that it's going to be used. Okay. Hey, <clears throat> it's more useful to take Aragon and create the, the mega encirclement here rather than the fight in the north where the, our superiority is massive. The Germans are already pushing, so... Okay, let me see. Do I, do I have trucks? Do I, do I have trucks? That's uh, the big question. No, I, I have zero trucks. What I could try to do, I could ask Germany to give me some trucks so we increase the logistics. No way, I can't. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna happen, so... 
Our logistics is gonna be it's bad. We're in the north. First reduction for land uh, doctrine, blah blah blah, in Asturias and Paris Vasco to remove them to land offensive. So, revive the spirit of the Carlist War. Uh, plus war support. Yeah. Let me check this now. I think that here now I, would, I, I should be able to push. I believe that I should be able to push here. Without any sort of uh, big issue. Right. Yeah, you see them. Now we can we can work. Actually, I would like to push it in Saragossa so I can. <clears throat> so I can uh, break here the Great Encirclement taking Caste and Tortosa then. Great. Great, great, great. Look, we are we are winning now. We are taking an airport and then we create this Encirclement uh, and we kill three divisions of the enemy. Done. So we push with all our forces. We get rid of those three. And then we do the same here. And then we are good. We don't have oil, that's why I'm not moving even. I don't even think to move the Navy. I have 84,000 uh, people in the manpower. Infantry equipment is enough. I, I can't actually drop anyone, but to do, to do what we can. Alright. So, the first encirclement now is really uh, working because you see that we are overwhelming the enemy forces. And I think that now we could do exactly the same here. I, mean, I, I don't see the reason why I should bring all these troops now on this border. I prefer to move them here already to push and try to take the control. Uh, yeah, but at least kill this guy, okay? Okay, the Germans the Germans are doing it, okay? The Germans are doing it for us. Alright, perfect. So, the bow is under control. Next step, Aragon. Actually, there, is, there are still two regions uh, close to Oviedo that we have to take, but that's the next step. Alright, let's push. By the way, I see that they are, they are under now without supplies, so... Pretty good. All right. We have nothing. Actually, we have some infantry equipment that we could use, but we don't have the manpower to, to do that, so. Uh, let's say to move uh, concentrated industry, we will need it later. I'm wondering if I can just uh, sneak behind them and close. Because it looks like this looks possible to me. Uh, this looks possible to me. If we sneak behind these lines, um, we might be able to close. Ah, not really. Not really. Okay. Now I see the oscillation. Seems that I could cut uh, over Valencia. Ethiopia has capitulated. Wow! So Portugal is sending four volunteers in Italy after the Ethiopian war is sending three volunteers. We are in strong need of factories in Paris Vascos, for example. And in 35 days, we we should avoid the, the Malus here in this area. And we will have a. A big, big army, free to perform this push. Revive the spirit of the Carlist and let's have the... Oh, 
astronaut modernization. Nah, I don't need this thing. I don't the Kunta. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I think that for now, we can stick to this uh, <laughs> very, very <laughs> bad-looking border gore uh, Spain, but uh, the, the civil war is doing pretty well. Now that we have this, uh, the international support and we got rid of a couple of... Uh, um, divisions in the mm, Republican divisions in the north of uh, nationally Spain, I think that we can really prepare um, a very valid push, kill a lot of enemy divisions in this area, Aragon, and then focus on the south, Madrid, and then the rest. See you in the next episode.